Hi everybody, welcome to Vlogtober day 12. Today's Friday, it's half seven and today has been a stay at home day again. I'm a bit fed up of them now. I am ready to go back to work tomorrow. Um, as much as I love these puppies, he was going to fall asleep and then Hugo came running downstairs with a toy squeaking it and being loud and boisterous and now he's woke the puppy up. Um, yes, today has been a stay at home day. My mum came round for two or three hours and we had a coffee and had a catch up and what have you. Um, and we planned a nice shopping trip. Um, my mum's partner, his middle son, middle? Middle son is getting married um, at the end of November. So, um, yeah, she wants to wear a nice outfit for that because obviously ex-partners and things will be there so she wants to look her best. Um, so we're going to go into either Nottingham or Derby and find something nice for us to wear. But that's not till, I think it's in two weeks or maybe three. It's in November. Um, yeah, so it was nice to look forward to that and plan you know, she was telling me what she wants and stuff. Uh, Kirk should be home in half an hour. I'm going to do... Oh, I haven't got a hand free. I'm going to do chicken fajitas for dinner, just in the oven. Basically, I just cook some chicken in the oven with peppers and mushrooms and onions and put paprika and probably cayenne pepper or something on. I only put a bit on. Kirk really likes spicy food, but I do like the taste of it. I, I, I don't mind it, but it does sometimes give me, like indigestion i think i don't know i don't know if i've ever had indigestion oh slipped a tongue in um yeah so today has been a nothingy day and as much as i love these two and as much as i'm glad that i had the week off to sort of settle this one in rather than leave and i would have been off today anyway um so Today was never going to be like a wild party night out. I could state my hair. Um, but, yeah. I'll be glad to see some humans, not have to pick up any poo, not have to worry about who's being fed when, because tomorrow, that is Kirk's problem. And I'm hoping that next week I can get a bit more crochet done in the evenings. And as you all know, I've tried to film this several times. Ooh, Hello. Hugo, you're going to fall down, darling. You are. Um, And when I... I think it's like the fourth time I've tried to film this. Look. What, Mum? Um, I said you're going to fall down. I didn't say anything else. He's so cute. Um, yeah, I did say that I'm hoping to do more crochet next week. Because Hector just dangles off of whatever you're doing. Um, so it wouldn't even be worth trying to do like a scrap blanket, which I'm not so bothered about, you know, getting dog saliva on. Because um, if I made a... Well, that's nice. If I made a, the bl scrap blanket that I'm going to make, is probably going to end up being for one of these two. Um, so it doesn't matter too much about dog saliva, but he's literally just ripping the stitches out as I'm putting them in. Um... So, you guys just literally sat looking at me like, are you talking to me? Am I boring? He thinks I'm boring. Anyway, I feel like the crazy dog lady. Like, I've spent my week just talking to these two. I've got really got itchy nose. Um, yeah, so I was on about wanting to... Obviously, I'm doing the hexagon blanket. Um, and that is... It's like loads of colour changes, so it's not portable. But, like, not necessarily for the bus to work, because it is only, like, a ten-minute journey, so I wouldn't be... I'd get it out, but I wouldn't be able to do too much. But, you know, like, for my lunch break, um, to have a portable project, I have got... So the other things I've got on the go are... Um, I've got the Star Wars blanket, which I've made no progress on since we got Mr. Because just now uh, but I've not made any progress on anything um, I'm doing the hexagon blanket which similar to the Star Wars one although it's I could take Star Wars uh, squares with me that's not a bad idea actually because I could just take one ball of yarn and make squares but then I've got to start carrying scissors and things and I'm not 
like there's no problem with that but then that's where I'm going to start like losing things and not knowing what I'm doing and I literally just want to take a ball of yarn and a hook and go and I think maybe maybe I could like get an extra pair of scissors it's not that much of an issue is it but anyway yeah it's just like creating an extra thing to I don't know I don't know I'm talking myself in and out of this aren't I the, the fun of it all um Ooh, 20% battery. Um, yeah, and then the other thing I've got is the chevron. I was doing a chevron scarf. I think so, some of you some of you will have seen it. I don't know if everyone will. It was quite a while ago. I got a cake from Lolly's. It was a rainbow one. And I did made a chevron scarf out of it. Well, a half, probably not even half a chevron scarf. Um, and then I wanted to carry on with a load of grey because it was in a rainbow gradient. And I did chop a big bit of it out where I didn't like it. And I cut cut the ball with probably like a, a quarter to go. And I was going to do a big chunk of grey, finish off the rainbow colours, then do another big chunk of grey and then make it like an infinity scarf. This is me talking my hands. Um, and I still like the idea. I don't particularly like the yarn. It's a bit rough, the grey. It's a... One from Lolly's, it's one of the T-U-N-C, Tunk, Tunts, I don't know. I've never known what to call it. I was having a good sniff lock. Mm. Um, I've, I've literally switched off, I'm not starting this again. I'm very sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um... I breathed on him. What am I on about? Yeah, so I was thinking I'd quite like to do something portable. And I also want to use some of the pretty coloured lolly cakes that I bought. Because um, I did the scarf in Persephone. I think it was called Persephone. Which was... Um, and I still have a cake of that left as well. I have a cake of one called Umpa Lumpa, which is oranges and greys. I have a, a Persephone, which is... A light greeny blue, a dark greeny blue, a salmon pink, a cream, and then like a a dirty yellow colour. It's nice. Excuse me, pardon. Um, and then I have three of one that's called something else. I, I don't know what it's called. Aries, maybe? Ares? I can't remember. One Something like that. Um, and that's uh, like a turquoisey blue, a couple of different purples and the cream. Um, and there's three cakes of that and they are all quite... Because it's reject cakes that I bought. Um, they are all wound quite differently. One's like... I think one's mostly blue and white striped with a bit of purple in. And one's nearly fully purple and then there's another one that's got more blue in. This is fun for me to talk about. I'm really sorry. I hope this isn't boring. Um, I fancy just like chit-chatting away to someone that... To people that remotely care, because Kirk doesn't give two flying monkeys <laughs> about wool and yarn and what I'm making. Oh, I thought he was trying to wriggle out, and he's not. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I don't know whether to make, like, to be doing a purpley scarf project um, and see what I can do. Maybe that could be a bit portable for me to do on my lunch break at work or... Because I get a lot of lunch break. Although I only work three days. Not that the days matter. But like. Although it's only three days. That's like three. Four. So on a Tuesday, Wednesday. I get an hour and a half. And on a Saturday. I get an hour and 15 minutes. So I normally have an hour. And then. The half or the 15 minutes. And so that's like. Two, three. Four. Four hours and 15 minutes. That. Yes, I know I have to eat, but how long does it take to eat a sandwich or a salad? And I would enjoy crocheting, so I might be brave and take it with me. I might not as well. Maybe I should start by just take. I don't know what it is. I don't think... I wouldn't be embarrassed to do it. It's definitely not an embarrassing thing. It probably... <laughs> My mum bought him a toy, like, bought it back. I just explained about my mum buying toys and I don't know if it was in this one or one. Anyway, my mum brings a toy for Hugo every time she comes. A lot of them were new, but now we've started like taking 
sending her back with some to recycle them because he's got loads. Um, he's just bought the, the latest one down, which he has. My, I think Kerry bought him that actually for Christmas or something. Anyway, it doesn't matter where the dog toy came from, does it? It's a dolphin. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking I might at least start taking it with me. I'm just thinking if I do the Star Wars one, it's getting it done. But on the other and it's easy because it's um because it's little squares, so if like towards the end of it I'm not gonna be having to carry around like a scarf. Oh, what you are, mate. Um I'm not gonna be having to carry around a scarf like when I'm getting towards the end of it. And also it's easy to do because it's just little squares. And I could I have got some extra little scissors I could take. I could do all the sewing in ends. I might do that. Just take a ball of grey or black, like I don't have to take all the colours might do this tomorrow because I just think I'd, Hugo darling Hugo Hugo hello don't dig I just think first off I want to do it and although I am quite a shy per I think I've spoken I don't know if I've spoken about this before hello he thinks I'm kissing him I'm just ditching but because no one else does it, I don't want to be the first to do it. And I used to be like this at school. Like, if I knew the answer to a question or had an idea or anything like that, rather than, like, sticking my hand up and saying, oh, this is it, or, oh, this is an idea, I just wouldn't say anything. And and I don't know why, but that's just that's just me. That's my personality. I don't like it, but that's who I am. Um, and so because no one else takes crochet to work or knitting or anything like if you take a book to sit and read in the canteen at work people are like because it's not the cool thing to do and i don't i don't know what's anyone gonna say that's silly I'd be like okay it's not and i don't think anyone would say that the majority of the people that i work with are really nice but i don't tend to go and break with people that i work with i tend to go and break with other people who work on different departments i don't think anyone would say anything i don't I, and you know if anyone did say anything i really wouldn't care i might brave it tomorrow i'm definitely not going to film myself at work oh also um it's just, i don't know does anybody else get embarrassed or is it me i like i'd love to be the kind of person that's just and i would and you know if other people do it i think it's brilliant it's not it's not that i have these thoughts it's that i'm just shy I am quite shy. Um, yeah. Does anybody else feel like this? Like they they would love to do it, but they just don't. Probably not. I don't even think that's. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I just need to be brave, don't I? Um, and just. Hmm. I think. Um. Yeah. Also, what I was gonna say. This is a lot of like waffling on. I did just want it to be a chat. I feel like I've already said that before as well. I just wanted to have a chat. Um, I did, didn't I? I'm sorry. Um, also, my Instagram account, the crochet one, my <laughs> I don't know how it's happened, but um, my friend's husband, James, so Charlotte's husband, James, the people who have just had the baby, he's found my Instagram account. And I'm like, oh because quite openly on my instagram account do i announce that you know i'm on youtube and i crochet and blah 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 and whatever he knows i crochet but i think he thinks it's something that i do like wouldn't like you know like i made the blanket because the baby was coming and that's it crochet hooks down for the rest of the year i don't think he thinks that i'm like addicted and i talk to like however many hundreds of you there are online about it because we're all addicted and we can't help ourselves um and I feel like it's a bit like admitting I've got a problem with like, I can't stop buying wool. He's never been in the little spare bedroom. I think if he went in there, he'd definitely think I'd lost the plot. Um, yes. So is anybody else like me? And I'd, I feel like I'm going to be judged for not just like being, I'm a crocheter. I love it. Because I do love it. You all know how much I love it. You all know how addicted I am to buying wool. But it's just... Like, this is, like, a, a little... This is separate for me to, like, real life. Like, even, like, day-to-day. -day. Like, on um, Wednesday, when me and Kerry went to Slimming World, we went in Tesco, and I was talking... She was talking about uh, my uncle, uh, because he's 
recently this year i think it was this year it might have been the end of last year um found how found out found out found out that he's got um well he's doing about the stomach problems but found out i don't know if i'm saying that right now that it's that it's uh because of what he eats so he, he has to be gluten free all the time and he should avoid dairy um Coke's just text me. I'll text him back in a minute. Got twenty minutes before he leaves work. Um Yeah, so he said so Kerry was telling me that this year he, he wants um this is who the Star Wars blanket's gonna be for. This is what I'm getting to. Um that this year he'd like it to make um he wants a gluten free birthday cake, um, but he really wants a like a regular, normal, not gluten free or dairy free apple pie. Um, and so she was, she was saying that she was telling him like, I should really try and find a gluten free, dairy free apple pie. So you're not, um, you know, you're not going to be poorly. He was like, no, I want the real deal. Um, anyway, so we were talking about that. I was like, oh yeah, I'm stressing myself out with his blanket. She's like, oh well, yeah. And I was like, yeah, I've done this and I've not done that, but I've got this. And I was like, but it's really hard to get yourself. And she was like, yeah, anyway, so this apple pie, I'm like, oh, it's just so interesting. And she like, she wasn't being rude or anything. Um, but it just like wasn't, it just wasn't registering to her that like I'm obsessed with crochet and this is what I do in my time and like I can't do it because of these flipping, well not these, this flipping puppy. Um, yeah, so I think, yeah I don't know, Ob obviously people are going to find out one day aren't they? It's not particularly that I'm trying to keep it secret but I just... I don't know. I don't know if people... I don't know. I don't even know what I think. Maybe that's the problem. I don't think about these things enough. And so I just presume that everyone thinks that I've lost the plot. But, you know, really, if I, if I really think about it, you know, if everybody thought I had lost the plot, I wouldn't really care. So... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but I think I'm going to take some... Take the yarn to work tomorrow. I might take the black one because in the canteen it's that really harsh fluorescent lighting. Don't wake up the puppy. <laughs> There's an ear in the way. Um, it's that really harsh fluorescent lighting, so that might be good for doing black. Um, and I could get some squares. Also, a girl who I work with, Hugo, Hugo, darling. A girl who I work with has been making a Peter Rabbit quilt. She's been doing it by hand, which has been a serious labour of love. Um, but she's been doing it by hand and she really wanted to get it done. And she took it into work with her and everyone was like, oh, what are you doing? What's that? And she's like, it's fabric, sewing it together. And I really like that answer, so I might do that. I've, I've said it before, I think I said it the other day in my little rant. I really find it hard to dance to the beat of my own drum. Not at home, not with my friends, not with my family, but you know, with like the great wide wide world. I just, I just want to be. Is it like the great? Is there a thing where like grey clothes syndrome, where like if and I'm dressed head to toe in grey, but like people that to blend into a crowd, you should dress. I don't know. I think I made this up, but I just want to blend in as much as possible, and it's not through fear necessarily. Um, I think it's like, I just don't, I'm not a people, I don't want people, I can have like a small talk conversation, Hugo, Hugo, I can have a small talk conversation, you know, with a random person at the bus stop and be quite happy, but if you want, there was a man that came into work the other week and he was like, I know your boyfriend, is his, is his name Kirk, what's his name? And I said, Kirk, what's his first name? I said, that is his first name. No, it's not. I was like, yeah, it is. And I was like, I don't want to talk to you about my personal life. Go away. Um, and he wasn't, he wasn't being like rude or anything, but I didn't tell him to go away. But like the, the person inside me just shrank and I was like, no, I don't want to do this. Um, yeah, I do, I do. I do like to just blend in and appear to not be there. Um, when I'm at home, I feel like when I'm talking to you, like when I'm with my friends, when I'm with my family, you know, if I'm, I'm not like scared of the public either. 
Um, like, so if I was, like, down the pub or out for a meal with friends, I'd be, you know, I would be myself, I'd be really happy. And like I say, I'm really happy to talk to someone on the bus, but about them and not me, I think. And I suppose that's what it is with crochet a little bit. Like, I don't... You, Hector, stop licking. I don't, like, want the attention that it may bring. I don't know. I'm just a wimp, aren't I? I just need to get over it. Is this an issue to any of you, or is it just me? Let me know. Anyway, I'm going to go, because I need to text Kirk back before he starts driving home. And I need to go and put some chicken in the oven. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a lovely weekend, whatever it brings. I shall be at work and I, I literally, as soon as I step foot in the place, I'll have, re I will have regretted saying, oh, I, want to, I, miss, I miss being at work while I was at home. I didn't really miss it that much. Um, I just miss Kirk. If he'd have been here looking after these to pair with me, I would have been much happier, I think. Um, yes, but I am looking forward to seeing my friends and, you know, getting back up to a bit of normality. Um... Yes, so thank you all for watching. Hope you have a lovely weekend. Um, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Well, how do you crochet in public? I know a lot of you do. Um, is it, was the first time scary? Is this a non-issue to you? Is it just something that you've always done? Um, or is are, are any of you like me and you're like, oh, I don't want anyone to look at me. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think. And I'll see you all. With a very short video, I'm sure, tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know how to end it. Bye, everyone. <laughs>